friends, thank you for pressing the play button of this daily Devo video. I pray for our hearts to be soft and tender towards the move of the Holy Spirit and the voice of the Shepherd today as we look to Him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Not two weeks ago, I spoke on uh, Joel chapter 1 uh, that talks about the warning judgment from the Lord to come on the land and the people of Judah because of their sins. Prophet Joel was sent by God to give a strong warning and encouragement to the people there so that they will repent and return wholeheartedly to the Lord. Today I will focus on chapter Joel chapter 2 verse 18 and 19 that talks about the results of repentance is restoration. You know, God's heart is to restore and renew His people, you and I. He did it through expressing His love, grace and mercies. And Joel chapter 2 verse 18 reads, Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. The Lord answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending you, I am sending to you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied, and I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. There are three truths that I pick up from this two verses. The first one is the Lord wants his people. Secondly, the Lord speaks actively to his people. Third one, the Lord sends help to his people. Verse 18, the Lord became jealous and had pity. You know, a thought came to me. Can jealousy and pity be expressed at the same time? I know God's jealousy is different from human jealousy. Human jealousy, if we are not careful in managing it, it, lead, it can lead us to hurting and harming other people. But God's jealousy lead him to show pity and compassion. It moves him to show kindness and goodness because he wants his people to return to an intimate relationship with him. He doesn't need us, but he wants us. He doesn't need you and I, but he wants you and I. He pursue us, he draw us to him. He is ready to defend the land of Judah and his people since it is rightfully and uniquely His. We are originally His. Secondly, God speaks actively to His people. Verse 19, The Lord answered and said to His people. That gives us a picture that our God is active, present and living. He is not dead. Sometimes when many things start to crop my mind and I become overwhelmed with my problems, I will sit down on my bed in my room and start to look around and ask God this question and wonder, God, are you really real? Are you here? Are you listening to me? And I will have a childlike request and begin to ask God, God, can you show up physically right in front of me of course god did not uh, answer to my request he did not do that but the holy spirit lead me to hear the voice of god in other meaningful ways he, he speaks to me uh, when i read his word when i receive encouragement and support from others even when i just look at the sky outside god speaks so clearly most of the time and we are to be aware and observe, to be observant because our Father speaks to us. He not only speaks to us, He speaks actively into our hearts and our mind with so many different ways. And the third thing I learned about God's character is He is extremely helpful. Talk about being helpful. We all love friends who are helpful. But God is our ultimate help. He is a model of helpfulness. You can see in verse 19b, says that I am sending to you grain, wine, and oil. Sending is a present tense. Help, his help is on the way. Never too early nor too late. And I love this next part. It says, you will be satisfied. And I says, enough to satisfy you fully. You know, whatever needs we have today, friends, be it physically, emotionally, mentally, socially, or spiritually, our, father heart, our Father's heart is not just to feed us, but to fill us to satisfaction. 
and that is so amazing. He cares not just for one or two areas of our life. He cares for every areas, every detail, every part of our lives. And so this passage, this passage intention, God's intention is to restore and renew the people, is to restore and renew us through these calamities, even through this pandi pandemic for us now. It's a call to repentance. The result of repentance is restoration. Reflection question of today. Why God has why God put you through the situation you are in right now? And what is He speaking active, actively to you? Good day.